Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing good. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys are enjoying the weekend. It is hot here in North Carolina. So I went out earlier today and picked up a few things and then I picked up something earlier. So I have a quick, um, small kind of haul to share with you. So let me share with you what I got earlier this week at my local scrapbook store here in um, Greensboro, North Carolina. It's called Paper Crafting Studio. Um, you can check them out on Facebook. I think you can order on them, order from them online as well. Well, I needed to get some more of this glue. I love this glue. It's the art glitter glue. So I went ahead and got this. This is great for card making and um, using my dies and, you know, layering things and little intricate details. So I bought the refill bottle and I use these little bottles I picked up years ago and I just fill it up. So I wanted some more of this. And then while I was in there, um, I wanted the Lawn Fawn Sending Big Hugs die that had just come out not long ago, but she was out of stock. So she, Sue's got, Sue was in there, the owner, and I chatted with her for a little bit and she said she has some more on order. So hopefully they'll get some more soon. But I spotted this Picket Fence Slim Lie, Slim Line die cutting system. And I've not made a ton of Slim Line cards, but I thought this would be a good first purchase for a die because it's the nesting rectangles and you get 17 in here. So you get uh, four of the rectangles and they have um, the dotted stitching. And then you get the bonus word die. So you get day, get well, happy, and lovely. And so you get the stitching line. So I thought that was really cool really cute and these are the different sizes that you get the smaller rectangles and then the larger ones so I picked that up and it is slimline nesting rectangle dies so very cute so love their products so I got that that's everything I got at the um, paper crafting studio but let me share with you I went to Hobby Lobby this morning and um, I bounced in there looking for some of the clearance stuff that I'd seen people haul from the jewelry section, but mine hadn't all been labeled yet. So while I was there, I went ahead and looked at the paper crafting section, which is getting smaller, guys. And our store, I went to the one in Greensboro, and it is being reset in the craft section. And I was going to take some pictures, but there were a lot of people in there this morning. And they are resetting and rearranging things. And there were a lot of boxes all over the floor, which is where I found this paper pad that I want to share with you. So keep an eye on your Hobby Lobby because they're resetting them and reorganizing the craft section. And I saw boxes of stuff yet to be put out. So when I'm saying they're rearranging, I mean, yeah, the, where they had the die set up is not even in the same place. And the storage is different. I mean, it's just all being reset. So, um, there were a few boxes that were open and I was able to spy a few things in there and I found this paper pad and this week and it ends today, um, all the paper studio stuff's half off. So check out, and I want you guys to see, it took, um, a lot of force to get, these are the new stickers. They're not the, they're not the little teeny ones and I was opening it up so I could show you guys. This thing is was on there good so you get two of them so they're not the little wimpy little stickers anymore so check this out isn't this just the prettiest sunflower paper so it says it's cardstock sunflower 20 designs three of each their price has gone up but i did get it half off but look all these are they gorgeous so i thought i'd take the time because i haven't seen anybody show this this might be an older one um but it's new to me so let's take a look oh, try to turn it this way look at how pretty i'm knocking stuff down all over my desk a glue bottle look how pretty and this does have it's got a little bit of a texture like that linen paper and it is nice and it's not super super thick but it is thicker and it does have yes it has like a linen texture you can feel it isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. You get three of each. I love this. You could come in here and fussy cut some of these if you wanted. So you get a pink gingham. 
and then a white daisy on a yellow background and it this does have some texture to it so it's not smooth smooth then you get a black gingham and look at that so you get different scales different size of them isn't that beautiful i love this look at this isn't that gorgeous i would love a stamp that mimic this this would be a cool stamp to have and i've got some sunflower stamps so i have to look pretty a lot of manufacturers have had something similar to that but i just love the colors and the sunflowers look how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous super pretty i wonder if they're going to have these single sheets you know a lot of these um stacks that they have they will sell it single so there's a larger and then this is the smaller version I just love the colors on here there's the yellow with the white so it looks like you you know stamped it I'm like look how pretty that is oh my gosh so pretty and pink and I love that shade of pink it's like a carnation pink of course I've seen that by other manufacturers but that's really pretty I was so excited to get this and I hadn't seen one of these before. That's my favorite. Isn't that gorgeous? So I went ahead and picked it up while it was half off because it'll be a couple weeks before it is. That's so pretty. So that's gorgeous. I just love this paper sack. And that's it. So you guys, check out your Hobby Lobby. And if you love sunflowers, I love that this is up sunflowers done in the summer. A lot of times you'll get the sun, um, sunflowers and it's fall based, but this these are summer colors. Isn't that gorgeous? Super, super pretty. So keep an eye out for that. I guess it's called sunflower. So I love that. So I got that. And then the only other thing that I got while I was there, I went to the bead section and I picked up these little beads. Aren't these cute? They're novelty beads. They were all half off. And these are little cupcakes and little donuts. And look at the cute little ice cream. Isn't that cute? I thought this would be fun for making some dangles on some, um, you know, mini albums or give to some friends. I thought that was just really, really cute. And I love the colors. So I picked that up. That was $2. Then I spied these. These are little yellow beads. And I want to open one of these up. I haven't seen, has anybody seen these? And I love the colors. I'm gonna open these up and I'm gonna put them in another jar. But check these out, guys. They're letter beads. You get 260 in there for, they were half off, so normally three, but I got them for $1.50. But check them out. They're letters that you can, they're plastic, but you see that? So you can string them up on a banner. How fun will that be? And I went ahead and got two packs. That way I'd have enough. And I just love the colors. Aren't they cute? Those will be so much fun. You can put this on a page. And because they're lightweight, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could snip off the, the you know, the eyelet holder and, and use the letters as they, as they are. But aren't they adorable? And look how fun the colors are. I thought that was too stinking cute. I just love that. I can see a lot of fun projects being made with these. So you guys let me know if you've seen those. Because I thought they were adorable. Great time to buy them when they're half off. Okay, so the next place that I went, I went to Tuesday morning. I didn't get anything there. They had uh, not a whole lot uh, of new stuff. And their store is changing as well. But... <clears throat> Next to Tuesday morning is a store called Ollie's. Now we had a store named Ol is Ollie's. It's a franchise, and they were up in the Maryland, Baltimore area when I where I used to live, and now they've come down here to North Carolina. And I'm telling you, I haven't been in there in a year or two. It definitely well before COVID, so it's probably been two years or so. But I went ahead and went in there to see if they had anything different. I was looking for something for Tim for Father's Day, and I didn't see a whole lot. But I did go to their little crafty aisle, which they didn't have as much as they used to in the past. But check out the Project Life books that I got. These were $3.99. These were Project Life, Becky Higgins. This is the cherry color. And it's the faux leather, I believe. Yep. But it was $3.99. Isn't that 
awesome. So I went ahead and got one. I thought this would make a great Disney album. And I probably should have gotten two. I'm going to look online and see if that is indeed a good price. But I'm pretty sure it is. So you get the pocket pages in there. And I've got tons of pocket pages I can add. So it looks like you get a couple different kinds. But how cool is that? I'm going to turn this into a Disney album. Very cool. So it's an 8x8. Eight eight. I love that format. And it's going to look pretty sitting up on a shelf. Super cute. And I took a little bit of video. I'll try to remember to add that so you guys can see the other ones that they had. Um, then I picked this one up. This is um, Project Life by Heidi Swap. So it's the stripe with the gold accents. And I didn't open this one up. I'm not sure if this one comes with any refill pages. I don't think it does. And this one was $4.99. So it was a little bit more. Super cute. And they had a baby one. I did not get the baby one. Let's get this open. But I love these little smaller albums for making projects or gifts. And I don't think that's a bad price. So no, you just get the album. No page inserts. But I've got others. Super cute. That'll be fun to alter up. So I got that one. And then the other two that I got. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are the little baby ones. These are the 4 by 4s And these were only $1.99. How fun are these? It's called palm trees. Super cool. And you do get some page protectors in this one. Let's take a look at this one. So if you guys have an olive near you. You might want to check them out if you haven't been there in a while. They used to carry stickers and a few things. That store was a little bit low on inventory, but how fun is this to make up each album of like a quick trip? And you get, see how cute is that? And I've got uh, others of these or you can make your own sleeves. But how fun is that? So I got two of those for $1.99. Super cute. So check out your Ollie's. That's what it looks like, Ollie's. And they have um, a great store. There's a lot of fun goodies in there. So I think that's everything I showed. Everything. That's it. I told you it wasn't much today. So I've got to get busy. I've got to make Tim a Father's Day card. And I've been making a lot of cards. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, I've been stenciling and making some cards. And I think they turned out really cute. So I've got a stack of these to finish up and I will change the sentiment. I had to make a couple of graduation cards and those were simple and pretty. So check out your Ollie's guys. If you have one, you can get some really cute albums. So, all right guys, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye everybody.